Hey Scott, I just wanted to create this little video for you. I installed a new plugin uh, for you and it's called uh, All-in-One SEO Pack. And what it allows you to do is actually get your posts. When you go in and make your blog posts, it allows the search engines to find those more easily. So I just wanted to kind of show you how to do it. So when you're in your WordPress backend here and you're adding your posts, let's look at this last one uh, where there's a will, there's a way. Just click on it, and we're going to edit this one. This will come up. Uh, obviously, here's your, your post. This will come up when you first start doing it. See here, you scroll down, and you get all-in-one SEO pack. So the title, this is the, when things show up in the search engine, that blue highlighted line probably don't want to use where there's a will there's a way uh, because th that's not search engine friendly nobody's searching for will or way or anything like that so you could create the title um, let's say Chinook salmon caught in British Columbia. So now we've got British Columbia, salmon, Chinook salmon. So these are all partial words that people might be searching for. And then in the description, um, you want to also try to start, at least just start with a good keyword. So let's say, uh, if I could type, British Columbia salmon fishing finally gets good for long time guest of Sun's Lodge will what's his name uh, well I was gonna look for his last name but I didn't see it he caught this Oops, sorry I had to scroll up again to see how much it weighed he caught this beautiful 24 pound salmon from our lodge boat in British Columbia's inside passage. So just throwing in a couple more keywords there. And now you can actually put in uh, your specific keywords, which um, salmon fishing British Columbia Salmon Fishing Lodge, um, BC Salmon Fishing, BC Salmon Fishing Lodge. Um, that's good enough. Four or five keywords is fine. And if you're doing a post about a big halibut, then you would kind of change everything to halibut fishing or British Columbia halibut fishing. Uh, and just kind of play around but once you put those keywords in uh, then you just come back up and either click update or publish and you've got your categories checked here that's great um, for a title I mean personally I know it's it's more uh, it's more of a personal touch when you uh, when you put a title in that, that's very personal like this, I would start at uh, British Columbia Salmon Fishing Report, you know, for June of 2012. That's what people are going to be looking for in the search engine. Uh, it's not 100% necessary because this stuff down here w will help, uh, but definitely this title, you need to kind of be thinking about at least throwing one or two keywords in there 
when you're creating the title. Uh, and if it's keyword dash and then a kind of a personality title, that's cool too. Uh, but just wanted to kind of show you. I'm going to go ahead and update this for you. Um, and then I'll go back and I'll show you what it looks like in the posts. So if we go back in and look at all the posts, now you see under this this where there's a will, there's a way. You've got your SEO title, your SEO uh, keywords, and your SEO description. So technically you could go back through, if you wanted to spend a little time, go back through a bunch of your posts and add the the title, the keywords, and the description and help yourself out for sure in getting some more search engine results. If you don't have any idea about the keywords, uh, just go to Google, type in Keyword Tool, and then click on Google Ad AdWords Keyword Tool. It's just the easiest way to get to it. And once it loads, You want to click on Keyword Ideas. This Ad Group Ideas is selected by default, so you always have to remember to click on the Keyword Ideas. I've already got you signed in. Uh, sometimes it'll ask you to sign in, and it's better to be signed in because it gives you more results. So let's just put in um, British Columbia Salmon Fishing, and then click Search. And what it'll do is show you that British Columbia salmon fishing, uh, it's a highly competitive keyword, but global monthly searches, it gets 2,400 uh, global monthly searches. Uh, you can Local, that means U.S., so for you, since there's a lot of people looking from Canada, you probably want to focus more on the global. But this also just gives you uh, a selection. British Columbia steelhead fishing, uh, fishing vacations, that's not a bad one. 12,100 salmon fishing off the west coast of Canada. It's pretty specific. There's only 36 searches for it, but it's very specific. So, uh, British Columbia vacations again, 5,400. Uh, let's see. Best resorts from British Columbia, 590. Um, so anyway, you can get an idea. If you want to look at the most searched, you can just click on it and it'll automatically sort it. Here where it says Global Monthly Searches, if you just click here, now it sorts by the most searches. It, these are pretty broad, obviously, so you have to kind of go down, but uh, you know it'll still give you some ideas. And then it, let's say uh, Fishing Lodge, uh, you can always click on that. And then it'll give you, uh, you know, show me more like this. And then it kind of, then it'll switch right to Fishing Lodge. So Fishing Lodge, 60,000, but who knows if they're looking for it in British Columbia. So you can play around with this a little bit to kind of get some keyword ideas. Now, now you see what I do every day is you can go deeper and deeper and it can get absolutely crazy when all you're really trying to do is write a post. But once you do it for a little while, you'll get the idea of which one of those keywords are actually the best ones to use and just add those into the post and it'll help on your search engine rankings a lot so just wanted to show you that and I'll just leave that there if you want you can always just go in and edit it out uh, if, if you're not happy with it for some reason but this kind of stuff really really helps when you're doing your posts uh, get you some free traffic so you don't have to pay for those uh, AdWords anyway uh, hope all's well hope you guys are having a good season and if you need anything else just uh, give me a holler and uh, glad to help you out. Take care, bud.